What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Before we start, please hit that like button. It's been really helping out with the channel and everything recently. Uh, we're with the Lagoon 25. Uh, got something in to replace the fan up here. These are just computer fans, I believe. But I've had them for about two years now. And it was kind of a hack. Uh, it's connected to the Inkbird controller, so whenever the temp hits a certain point, I believe over um, 78 or 79, the fans kick on. And usually I have two, one on each corner. And it's really Mickey Mouse. I have it on a tile, and it's just pointing towards the surface. So when it, get, when it gets too hot, the air blows across the surface. Um, kind of driving that heat away from the tank and in theory it should be lowering the entire tank temperature now this thing works I've seen it um, cool the tank down about three degrees but check out the weather for the next uh, week or so we're gonna hit 105, 107, 100, 102, 105. It's pretty hot. I haven't seen it that hot this year. So last week, before the heat wave hit, um, I picked up something. Let me got, let me show you guys what I picked up. Some stuff from China. Uh, instead of putting it on top of the tile right there and having it look all ghetto, uh, I figure I'll give this a try, only because it has the mountain bracket and I figure I can mount it up in the back right there and move the auto top off um, auto top off tube to another end and we'll have the fan pointing down at the at the center uh, what do you call it not overflow we'll have it pointing down at the center the rear center chamber uh, let me do a quick open box on this to show you guys what comes with it. It's pretty basic, so nice. we'll see. I got some. I got everything at my station right here. I'm doing this one-handed, real quick. I don't think there's many pieces to this to assemble or anything. It's gonna be a plug-and-play kind of deal. This thing was only $17. And it's two fans and they have other options where you can pick three fan four fans um, the one with four fans it was like 30 something dollars and you can find this all over um, eBay and Amazon it's kind of bulky and it's just one piece all together and a power thing with two screws so you can clamp it down. So we'll figure it out right now and then I'll show you the end product on the Lagoon 25. All right guys, it's a couple of days later. Um, we're getting really hot out here. It's like 106 degrees outside and my tank right here is at 85 degrees. Here's the fan, it's on. It's pretty loud but it's very effective at um, lowering lowering the tank temp now I could have put it in the center right here but I have some of these pieces um, up top right next to the the back um, baffle and I was concerned that putting this in the back right here it would um, kind of shade out the coral with the fan right here I couldn't put it up um, 100% vertical this is the max that it would go and you can kind of push it down further so it's horizontal like this with the tank but I think it would shade out some of the corals down here so I have it at an angle that way it's just blowing air across the surface um, to dissipate the heat now um, now I had this running the day before and it worked perfectly fine. It lowered the tank all the way down to 79, 
which is my setting but I ran out of the auto top off water so I had to refill it and mix in my calc and everything and I had the fan turned off because I didn't want it to evaporate too much and kind of affect my salinity so right now I just put in my RODI container and check it out right here it was at 85 degrees and we're setting the ink bird at 78 and through time this this um, temp would swing all the way down to 78 and the fan would shut down. Now, this ink bird right here, it's what's controlling my um, heat and my cooling. There's two plugs down here. One for heating, you can see right here with the LED and one for cooling. So if it hits a certain temperature, if it goes over a certain temperature, um, the fan would kick on for cooling. If it goes under, um, 78 the heating would kick on it's a very smart controller for very cheap it's about 30 bucks or something like that if you guys are interested um, I'll leave a link down in the description I got this off of Amazon uh, quick shipping but I have other videos of um, me setting this up so if you guys are interested in that video as well I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner so right now we're at we were at 85 we're going down to 84 right now uh, and it would go all the way down to um, 78 I can cut back in when it's um, closer to the desired temp but the fan is just gonna keep going until it hits that temperature if you don't have that controller the fans just gonna keep going um, indefinitely and then it would kind of fight with the, the heater with the controller it it makes it smart so it turns on and off when you need it. My tank is right here right now. I didn't scrape the glass or anything because I wasn't planning on um, filming the inside of the tank. But this is like one week of algae or whatever. The fish, the wrasse, um, he's right here, he's doing well. It's just the front, it's not um, show quality right now. I didn't scrape anything. And I, I usually scrape before um, filming a video, but today I'm just lazy, I'm not scraping. We'll cut out, and then I'll cut back in when the temp is to the desired um, 78, so I can show you guys that it's um, actually working. Alright guys, it's been about 30 minutes, and let me pull out the Inkbird controller. It's back here. As you can see, it went down a couple of degrees to 81.5. It will go all the way down to 78. I've seen it happen before. This fan is way more powerful than the other two fans that I have, but the drawback is it's um, kind of loud, but it's effective at doing its job. Now, my tank is just filled with Zoas and Pallies down here. They kind of tolerate heat well, but we want to keep everything consistent, and the controller combined with these fans right here keep everything um, at a steady 78. Now if I had other corals such as um, Styx, um, expensive Acropora, those guys would kind of stress out with heat and everything and this would be very beneficial in keeping your Acropora in a nano tank. Now I have this on my um, Red Sea Reefer 352 and it works perfectly fine on that big tank. Anyways that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you guys are all doing well and have a great day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.